Taurus, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. So, Taurus, I do feel that you have had an ending with someone here. Okay. On your mind, we have the Two of Pentacles with the jar, with the Temperance here. Uh, I think you're trying to find a balance in your life. Okay. Uh, along with finding a balance in your life, I do feel that you're at a point where you could be juggling and weighing out your pros and cons. You could be having two options or you could just be wanting to choose from two options out here. The options could be two people or the options could just be about making up your mind or trying to just weigh out your pros and cons about what you really need to do about a connection. Okay. However, I don't think you're in a hurry to make a decision right now. All right. I think all you want is to stay away from any kind of drama. Okay, to stay away from any kind of big, huge um, acts of desperation. Okay, I don't think, I think earlier you were in a very chaotic energy where you wanted a resolution. You wanted a resolution anyhow. You just wanted to hear a fucking yes or a no from this person here. Okay, like are we doing this or not? Now I feel you've completely calmed down. Now you've probably gone, uh, you, you've gone through a lot of healing. And I think you've reached a point where you realize that what is not in your control, you let it go. And what is in your control, you just try to, you know, tame it. So you're taming your feelings. You're taming your emotions is what I'm getting here. But you are in no hurry, okay, to either drop this person or to even go towards this person. Here. I think you're just trying to go with the flow right now, okay? So there's a lot of balance, a lot of peace, a lot of harmony, okay? You're just trying to keep it very moderate right now, okay? So if right now if I ask you what do you want to do with this person, you'll be like, well, it's okay if this person comes back and it's okay if they don't. For most of you, I know you're going to comment below, no, the fuck, I don't want them at all. All right, good for you. But... The temperance is telling me where you're just at a very, um, you're at a place where you're very calm, you know, you're, you're very peaceful where you are and you like it there. All right. So I do feel that you're going ahead with uh, a lot of balance in your life. Okay. There is no literal cutting off or there's no literal making decision as such here. But I do feel here overall that there are chances where you have made up your mind and you're making a very firm, a very stern and a very logical and practical decision to cut cords with this person here. I feel all this while you were not being logical. You weren't being accountable, okay, for your actions. You were probably in two minds or not very sure here. Overall, your energy towards this person is to move towards your wish fulfillment, okay? You want to move towards your wish fulfillment and this time around here, you're trying to be very logical, like I said. Because your overall energy is giving me the justice here. So I feel you're taking control over your situation. You're taking control over your life. Uh, you're putting your foot down and there is a lack of flexibility coming from you, okay? You're being very rigid overall here. I do feel that you're trying to move towards your wish fulfillment. You are reaching a point where you're okay on your own. You're very self-sufficient and uh, you have that inner contentment. Now, for a lot of you, you could be having a lot of options here. Not like you're exploring your options, but you're just very attractive to people right now because you're choosing to be from a point where you're self-sufficient and uh, you're emotionally very content. Like, you know, you just don't feel the need to have anything here, okay? You could just be very smug, you could be enjoying your time, okay, all alone. You could be just, you know, for a lot of you, I don't feel you guys are just sitting and there's, you know, you guys are just putting on weight because you guys are, just, you, know, you know, when you're in a very content place emotionally, right? Yes, the Nine of Cups is a little selfish energy. It is a little selfish, smug is what I'd say here, okay? But it's like you're very relaxed, you're very satisfied, you're very happy, you know, it's like... um you are moving towards a wish fulfillment, okay? And probably you feel this person here was someone who was draining you out emotionally rather than making you happy here. So this person could be also someone here, you know, who probably turned out to be um, a nightmare. Your wish turned out to be a nightmare is what I'm getting here. So I think you're coming off as a place where you're just fine on your own with or without this person. You're chilling, relaxing, okay? You're just happy where you are. Because you are trying to cut this person out or you're just being very logical. You're just, this is probably your strategizing now. Like, uh, if this person comes back, I know what to, I know what to say. And if they, if they don't come back, well, good. Maybe it wasn't meant to work out. Okay. But right now with the King of Swords, you have a very cold vibe towards this person. Okay. You're giving a very cold vibe to them. If you're in communication, if you're not in communication with them, then also you're just being very, uh, head over heart. Okay. About your, uh, state of mind. The person that you're dealing with here, I feel that this person here now, um, this person here wants a brand new beginning with you. Whoever you cut off. I feel definitely there was a scenario here where you kind of uh, cut off a relationship, okay? 
or there was a uh, situation where you kind of you know you guys uh, came to an ending there was a chapter that was closed between you both here this person out here is wanting to come back around but in a way where they want to take things to the next level is what i'm getting here if you were friends they want to date if you were dating they want to take it to probably committed if you're committed they want to take it to marriage something like that but you know moving to the next phase yeah, i feel this person in you you guys have learned your lessons i feel both of you have learned your lessons more than you this person out here and now this person here does want a brand new beginning with you they're very enthusiastic wanted to come towards you of course i don't see something very practical from their side yet but yes they want a fresh beginning out here okay they're very enthusiastic of starting something very passionate with you there's a lot of attraction coming from this person's side but at the same time here this person is either very very um they're very busy probably they have a lot on their plate right now probably they have a lot of responsibilities or they could also feel that this relationship is a lot of responsibilities here okay so it could be either ways either this person has too much work to do okay and they have a lot on their plate right now or this person could also feel that this relationship is a lot of responsibilities and it's like an uphill battle okay something is too much work for them take it how it resonates this person here i feel that has a lot of wishful thinking to do you know for a few of you i do feel that this person here could kind of be um confused because either they have too many options okay and they need to make a choice from which is the best option because this person wants to do what's best for them okay and probably even someone here like i said uh could be someone here who wants it all they want it all okay but they're not being able to make up their mind so you know how it's an energy where if i want this then i got to let that go if i want that then i have to that, let that go they don't they want it all they want everything they don't want to let go anything very greedy okay so yes that's what i'm getting here so maybe this person does have a lot of options here okay and uh they can't make up their mind or this person here is just very very confused because they have a lot of wishful thinking they're constantly daydreaming about what they want with you what they can have with you but they're procrastinating there's no action action been taken from their side like a literal action been taken from their side in order to pursue this relationship or in order to come towards you and tell you that you know what you're the one i want this is what i want and let's go with it Okay, but with the Tower here, this person is going through a huge, huge change in their lives. There is a certain disaster that has been occurred in their life. Now, the disaster for the Tower here does not always have the Tower is never a bad thing. Okay, no matter how bad it is, it's always um, a sense of realization where the universe is telling you that if I wouldn't have caused this, I you you wouldn't have been on the right path. So this person here, all this while that they were trying to avoid a disaster. Maybe the the disaster was that they were kind of focused on options. They were they had like the shiny syndrome, okay, the shiny stone syndrome. Uh, but now this person is coming to a realization that I better make a choice because I feel that this person already knows that you are you've closed the chapter with them or you're moving on. So this person has a realization, an aha moment, okay, more like a uh, like a revelation that they have, okay. They've realized all of a sudden that you know what, you're the option that they want, and you're the one that they want. And if they don't do anything about it, you're gonna slip out of their hands. So yes, they do want a brand new beginning with you, but I think there's gonna be some time, there's some waiting period here because this person's already going through a lot. Okay. Now for the outcome, we have the hermit and the hangman here. Wow, two more waiting cards here. This person here knows that if they want something, I feel they already know what they want. I feel they already know who they want, and that is you. But there is a big compromise there is a big compromise and there is a big sacrifice that this person needs to make in order for them to pursue this relationship or if they want to take things to the next level with you which they are still stuck in it's very 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 tough for them okay whatever sacrifice they need to make it's going to be very tough it's going to be a huge decision so while they're keeping things on pause here they are trying to change their perspective they're trying to change their mind they're trying to change and we see things from your perspective or from a different perspective okay they're changing the way they approach the situation here but there is still some time alone that is needed from this person because they are just wanting to uh, have that time alone they want to spend some more time alone trying to think about what is really going on in this connection and what they need to do next in order to pursue you okay so there is this waiting period here you're being patient they're also um at uh stuck and stagnant right now so i don't see much movement here but because i see the ace of wands here so there is a possibility of a new beginning here probably all right so hope this video has any and i'll see you next time bye bye next time bye bye